Okay, so the story I'm going to tell you about this, to encourage you, first of all, do this retreat if you can. Because even though I say it's good to practice 15, 20 minutes every day, that's just to keep you from drowning. <laughs> okay, that's just to keep your nose just a little bit above the waves. If you actually want to develop a stroke where you can actually swim a little, you need to work out a little more. And a session, a seven day session, is really a good way to develop, uh, a, to break that inertia. And then when you sit 20, 15 minutes a day, you'll have a different energy behind you. So it's a really good thing to every once in a while, deepen your practice, drill a little longer, and then you'll get a little deeper. So the story I'm gonna tell you is actually true. Uh, and this was oh, 35 years ago. I hate to say this, <laughs> uh, that long ago. Um, and it was about this verse. And that was the verse that brought me to the monastery, was that particular verse. And at that time, uh, we were doing Tai Chi practice at our studio, and somebody had put up a poster like that on the bulletin board of the Tai Chi studio, and it had a picture with it as well. And the picture was a real turnoff. I'm just telling you, it was a black and white picture of the monks and nuns sitting at Gold Mountain Monastery in meditation. And they were wearing these gray robes and they had, to me it was a turn off, they had shaved heads, they were wearing gray robes and they were all sitting there like this. And it looked really cold. <laughs> and they didn't look like they were having a good time. You have to remember this is Berkeley during the you know, <laughs> late 60s. So I'm looking at that picture and I'm going, whoa, those people are really serious about something. So I read the verse, a thousand years, a thousand eyes see all, a thousand uh, ears hear all, a thousand hands help and support everywhere. And I get this kind of shiver, shudder in my body and a slight little watery in my eyes like this. I thought, whoa, that's weird. So yeah, I didn't know what it was. And so I went outside and I was doing my set and I thought, gosh, that's never happened before. It must have been a quirk of some sort. I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to, after I finish my set, I'm going to go back in and look at it again and just see what happens. So I went back the second time and I got a thousand eyes, see a thousand ears, see a thousand hands. And the same thing happens. This uncontrollable shudder goes up and down, you know, like the shivers you get. And now there's actually tears forming in my eyes. And I go, no, this is really weird. <laughs> no way. You know, it's like, I don't know. And so I go out and I do some, of the, the, then we used to do Tai Chi and Shaolin, so I do the Shaolin to try to kick this out of my system. I'm doing up and down, doing my Shaolin, and I say, okay, here's the deal. Uh, we have three strikes, three everything. I'm gonna go in the third time. And if this happens the third time, I'm gonna go check this thing out. And I thought, but I saw that picture and I thought, God, those guys are weird though. <laughs> but then I thought, if it happens the third time, I can do anything for a week. You know, I can go and do this for a week and uh, even though it's weird, I'll do it for a week if this happens a third time. Well, go back in. Okay, I'm fresh, I got my tea, I'm ready, okay. <laughs> a thousand eyes, see, a thousand ears, and a thousand hands, and I'm, the tears are flowing down. <laughs> and I'm just shivering. And I thought, okay. <laughs> and on that basis, I went over to the Gold Mountain Monastery and did a week-long uh, session uh, and the rest is history. <laughs> so I'm just saying that what seemed to be like an ordinary event, an ordinary time, if your conditions are such, could be a very profound once in a lifetime moment in your life. It's, it's an opportunity and you don't think, and if I had thought, manana, sempre manana, I'll go next year or something. If I'd done that, I think my life would have been totally different. So when an opportunity comes and you can avail yourself of it, carpe diem, seize that moment. Don't let it go by because in the flow of things, these opportunities to enter the way, to touch with it, are not just a question of your will or your setting a calendar date. This is the ripening of all kinds of things that are quite spontaneous and long coming. And if you don't grab those moments as they come, they will go and your conditions will change. You may never get back to that point again. So I don't say be impulsive, but I'm saying when you have a chance and you have a stirring of some sort or a, a pull, follow that and see where it goes. 
You can do anything for a week. <laughs> okay.